hi guys welcome back to another video today's video i'm going to be taking you guys along on a road trip to togo with me um so if my voice is a bit different in this vlog i genuinely apologize for that well let's just get straight into this video so we are starting today's video very strong from the toll gate to the last toll gate to from Kotonu to Togo. So while going from Kotonu to Togo, you are going to see, I think, three toll gates. You're going to pass three different toll gates. So get ready for that. Actually, right now we are on our way to Togo. Like if you're familiar with Benin Republic or if you're familiar with Kotonu, then you will know the border from maybe Kotonu to Nigeria border it's very close right but surprisingly the border from Kotonu to Togo border it's so far like it took about probably four hours to get there we passed so many different provinces villages and this is Grand Popo. this is the bridge to Grand Popo. my camera was not doing justice to how beautiful this looked in real life there were so many places we passed there were so many places i couldn't film just because of tiredness and i just really wanted to take in the moment but it was beautiful the road to togo was super super beautiful right now we just arrived at the border and well it was super easy to pass through the borders for my first experience because this was particularly the first time for me going to togo so crossing the border was not really challenging it was super easy for me so after crossing the border I know there are so many questions you guys want to ask so leave them down in the comment section but i'm going to answer this one you can actually go to togo and return back the same day it is possible but the only thing i'll arrive i'll advise is for you to go is for you to leave kotonu very early um so right now we just enter togo well the energy was really the experience everything was just beautiful it was just lovely it was just calm togo has just the same feel to it to Benin republic it had the same feel as it is to Benin republic there was not really much difference in my opinion um yeah there was not actually a lot of difference in my opinion and according to where considering where i went to visit or where i saw Mm, it was not bad really togo was not really really bad at all Uh, but there's one thing I'm going to say Togo has a lot of road bumps humps. It's really just uh, I think for the f What am I saying? Togo has a lot of road humps that just avoid you or restricts you from driving fast. So If you're someone who drive fast a lot you should know that because the humps are really 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 bad really bad
so the exact place i went to visit in togo was lome so the capital city of togo i don't know where exactly in lome i was but i just I should let that know it was in lome yeah And again, for the border, you should probably go with your ID card or your passport and you will just be fine. Okay, I just wanted to put this here. At least that was my experience. So I think at this particular point we are really really entering the city of Lome. So one thing I really 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 noticed was that at some point in Togo it is really crowdy. I don't know if I'm saying the wrong thing, please correct me in the comment section below. Uh, the place I went to 
wow 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 there was there were a lot of hold up um due to the due to the fact that there were a lot of trucks on the road and from what i saw togo really really has a lot and lots of factories and manufacturing houses so that causes the whole lot of trucks on the road which in turn caused the hold up so yeah the place i went to visit to togo was really really hectic like i don't even know how to explain it to be honest i don't really know how to explain it it just had this nigerian feel to it where i went to i don't know if it's the whole of togo if i'm wrong feel free to correct me in the comment section but then my experience at this particular area while it was draining it was mentally draining to me yeah but probably as it is to different countries i feel like the site i went to visit might just be the industrial area of togo and there would still be many chilled places i'm not sure so feel free to teach me in the comment section i would really appreciate that but that was it they had so many so many so many so many factories from what i saw there were so many warehouses yes the warehouses there was a lot there were different warehouses and i noticed there was also different shipping lines there also so it might be where i went to it might not be this was just my experience i was sharing with you but overall togo was really chilled it's really chilled there and i think it's really safe because we left there late into the night and it was really safe to just come back really late into the night but it was really safe the whole experience of our world was really nice and yeah that was how i went to togo unexpectedly <laughs> Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was not much, to be honest. It was not much. Um, again, cameras could not do justice to exactly what I saw with my eyes in Togo. Togo is a really beautiful country. It's really chilled and I didn't get to talk to any locals, but I feel like they would really have amazing people there in Togo too. Uh, if there's anything I forgot to say, please let me know in the comment section i really enjoyed my experience in togo yeah togo was really nice because i got to talk with the customs and the immigration officer and they were really kind and attentive so yeah i think they would really be amazing people in togo well if you enjoyed this video please remember to let me know in the comment section below like share and subscribe with your friends and family have a beautiful beautiful amazing day bye bye